y'all. I am super excited about this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to learn to type text on a path or on a shape in Photoshop or text within a path or a shape. Now, I have to tell you, when I first started learning Photoshop, I could not find a tutorial for this out there anywhere, and I figured out a way to do it, and I made a tutorial, and now I go back and I look at it because I see how easy it is, and I wonder why I ever thought it was so difficult. The other methods um, that I used in the last tutorial uh, aren't necessary. And I said to myself, oh, goodness, surely it wasn't this way in CS4. So I opened up my CS4, and sure enough, it was the same way in CS4 as it is in this uh, Photoshop CC, which I am uh, using for this tutorial. And it's so easy. How many times have I said, why did I ever think anything was so hard? Well, when we're first learning, everything does seem hard. But then when it clicks, uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've said that. Why did I ever think it was so hard? So let's see how easy it is in, uh, the, in Photoshop. This is the full version of Photoshop. So we have our Shapes tool here, and we can pick any shape, even a custom shape. And I am going to choose uh, the Ellipse tool, so we can just make an easy circle. And I'm going to draw a circle, and you see it makes a circle shape here. Uh, for some reason, I have it as a stroke. I'm going to click up here and turn that off and um, go ahead and change. Whoops. Go ahead and change the color of it so it's different from my background. So we have our shape. Now all I have to do, it's just this simple, and it was this simple in CS4, is to click down on the text tool. And you come up here, and if you see the little, I'm going to zoom way in. I don't know if you can see it, but if you see a little squiggly line when you hover over the edge, that means it's going to go outside. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing. I want to make sure I am going uh, left and not centered. I had it centered earlier. <laughs> I'm going to click down and just begin typing begin typing my text and it goes around and around and i could go all the way around the the circle but it's just that easy simple 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 now you can see that this shape has made a path it automatically when you made the shape you don't have to make the path so I can go over here and see that um, there is the, the path. If I click on the paths uh, uh, palette. So if I don't want my text to go around, I'm going to hover and I'm going to get this circle with it. kind of looks like an, a fancy eye with a line through it and just click down and I can start typing right inside the circle here. Woohoo! This is fun! Wow! Now why did I ever think that was so hard? Now if you wanted, um, you can also use the pen tool. Let me see, where's my pen tool? Is this my pen? Okay, my pen tool. It, I think it was a pyre in my CS4 that I was just playing with. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, and I'm going to get my pen tool. And I'm not very good with my pen tool, but I'm just going to start just drawing, you know, a weird line. And I'm going to click on my text tool, and you see the little squiggly line? 
and I can start typing my text on the path so it goes up the hill and down this hill. There we go. And now I have text on a path. So, um, yeah, all you have to do is have a path of any shape. Now, when you go back to your paths palette, you're going to see there's the two paths. Even though, um, you know, you can't see it, like when I'm like here on my move tool, uh, they are still there. And just like you are in your layers palette, you can go and select one or the other. They are there. So, yeah, it's super easy. Now, if I wanted to, um, you know, I could go, let's create a new layer. And... Um, if I didn't want the shape and I just wanted the path, I could click up here and change it from shape to path and, you know, create me an oval shape. Um, and then get my text tool and type right around the path without a shape below it. So, actually I did something funky. <laughs> it's starting to go on this path over here. Somehow I combined paths. But anyway, it's simple like that. All you have to do is um, create your tech, your sh use your shape tool to create a shape and it already has a path with it and use the squiggly to go outside and the circle with the eye to go inside. <laughs> Isn't that fun? All right, let's have fun making some shapes. Woohoo!